great day, great day, great, great, Nia. Oh my God, it's Nia. Oh, family, time is ticking. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future. What's up, Negus? Nuba Waters. What's up, brother? How you doing today? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. We're about to pour these libations. We're actually about to drink these libations. Shouts out to Shaka Sion Hasbury. Come on, family. What's going on? Come on out. Come on. Come on. Touch bases with your brother. Touch bases with your brother. All right. Got a lot to talk about this morning. What's up, brother Kwame? I got your black seed and ginseng. Man, hey. Uh, because you buy yours by the gallon, <laughs> yours will be ready on Imani, my friend. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to sit down and settle down a little bit, but I know you're going to drink yours. Um, and you're going to release it every day, so I'm not really concerned about um, you not handling your business. All right? So... As y'all see, I don't have a plate. I'm not setting up for the breakfast this morning because, family, I broke my fast wrong. And let me tell you something about fasting. I just learned. Don't break your fast wrong. Now, I swear, I swear it feels like piranhas is coming out my ass. Listen, I should have never. I should have started with the, I should have stayed with the juices. I should have stayed with the miso soup. You know what I'm saying? Even my, even my fermented foods is taking vengeance on me, yo. Listen. All right, so now, y'all saw up on the thing I posted up, to buy a camp or not to buy a camp. It ain't funny, Kwame. It's not funny, man. I mean, it is funny, but damn. Listen, well, I've been suffering. I mean, it's like suffering. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, you know, but hey, you know, but like I said, I do it so that you don't have to mess up like that, right? I'm not going to mess up like that again. What's up, Brother Maurice King? All right, now, one of the things that I'm, I'm putting up right now, and we can have a discussion about it before, before we get into the libations and all that, right? Um, one of my little brothers forwarded me a link to a Girl Scout, Girl, a Girl Scout camp that's for sh for sale. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. I, I'm thinking about the baking soda. I was thinking about doing a salt cleaner, but I'm thinking about doing the baking soda too. Um, there's a camp that's 90, min 90 minutes away from Cleveland and 90, about 80 minutes, well, let's put it this, 80 minutes away from Cleveland, 80 minutes away from Columbus, a Girl Scout, Scout camp, um, um, a few hundred acres, um, it has facilities on it already, um, the camp is ready to go, uh, how you doing brother Maurice, long time no see my friend, <clears throat> but anyway, so I posted it up because I'm like, damn, I would really love to, I would really love to give this, right, and one of my, one of my friends, um, brother by the name of Shaka, not Shaka that's on here, but a brother by the name of Shaka said, go fund me, go fund this, right? And I'm sitting up here like, shoot, you know what I'm saying? Is this really a possibility? Is this something that we should really shoot for? Because think about it. This, um, what's up, brother? How you doing, Bert? Is this Bert from Akron? Um, well, anyway, um, so I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the property and 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 when, when Shaka said go fund me, I see people up under there like yeah yeah I mean it's only about two or three people but the point is, the the point is man um, is this something that we should shoot for? I mean because the camp could be used in many different in many different forms not just for kids it could be used for something as far as adults as far as some adult training. Far as some um, 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 workshop, um, workshop relationship workshops, um, personal development training, um, um, uh, 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 could be used for inner city schools. You know what I'm saying? To, to train. Hell, if we wanted to set up a school there, 
We could do that as well. You know what I'm saying? The, the point is, the nine is for sale. It has ponds on it. I think it got its own private lake. It got a private swimming pool. It already has some um, um, cabins up, right? It has a center. Uh, uh, it, it's beautiful. Go to um, go to my um, go to my um, my timeline and look at it. To fund it or not to fund it, what y'all think? Somebody give me some words. Come on now. Should we try to go for a GoFundMe or should we try to pull a personal little private group together to try to get the money together to go on and see about purchasing this whole thing? Because I don't want to purchase it in pieces. You know what I'm saying? Because they sell it in pieces. The largest bidder get the choice, right? If we get it, we need to get it all. You know what I'm saying? We don't want neighbors running around hunting deer and shit while we got our kids out there. You know what I'm saying? Or while we got our adults out there. Ashaka said, listen, with NACA.com for of us could get mortgage approval. See more. Oh. No down paper, no closing costs. Now, could not could be used for that in, in particular. See, because now we would need four people who are already not could qualify, right? Because this is going up for bid right now. So we need four people that's not going to qualify. And then, if I'm correct, because when I was looking at Tanaka, you, somebody got to live on this land. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to live on that land. Yeah, we got to live on it. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, and that's 80 miles from Columbus, 80 miles from Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a commute. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I, I, I would love to do it, but I would love to keep it realistic because some we're gonna have to work you know what i'm saying unless we unless people just automatically start giving us business and we already know how how black folks do right you know what i'm saying we'd be all hyped up about it but then three months down the line i'm tired of it i'm tired of it you know i don't want nothing to do with it i don't like you no more brother hot tim don't like you shaka you sing the same songs all the time don't like you you know what I'm saying, brother? I tell them always talking this positive shit. Life is rough. And, you know, they quit and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, is this something that we can do? Do we have the infrastructure? And we have to be honest about that. I have to ask, well, do we have the infrastructure to even support a camp like this? Because this, I mean, because think about it. The Girl Scouts, if the Girl Scouts got out of it, we could get a VC. I don't think GoFundMe is the way. What's a VC? All right. So we're going to get up here and put, this, put these libations, you know. The ancestors, ancestors answer my questions real soon. I'm not concerned about it. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's for us, we're going to get it for real. You know what I'm saying? Because this... This is not the only opportunity that's going to come. And uh, I'm too old to be rushing into shit, but I'm just thinking about, you know what I'm saying? When he say, go find me, I'm like, damn, you know, he got a point there. There's a possibility. You know what I'm saying? But we will have to go find me for much more than just the purchase of the property. We have to at least get um, um, money for maintenance for maybe two years. You know what I'm saying? Two to three years. Because, of course, you know, any business that you start. You can't expect no profits for about maybe five years, especially when we're talking about an old school camping business, right? Renting out cabins and stuff like that. We're going to have to go in there. We're going to take care of the land. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to make sure certain things ain't overgrown. We don't even know how old the pictures are. We still have to go and tour it to make sure that the pictures that they got up there are up to date and shit ain't falling apart. Oh, man. But, hey. It's still an opportunity, and it's good to know that there's still opportunities out there like that. So, this morning, we have 1907 New Zealand water. Now, I ain't going to drink this whole thing. This is a 67.6 fluid ounces. But, yo, come on, fam. You know the rules. Those of you that's been joining me, you got to drink some water with me. Come on, drink water with your brother. Come on now. Come on. We can't pour libations if we ain't healthy. So, we want to make sure that we are healthy. All right, drink up with me. 
Honestly, I know a 24-year-old brother that got 1.3 million in academic grants. Hold on. Oh, venture capitalists. There is a way. Venture capitalists. Honestly, I know 24-year-old brother with 1.3 million in academic grants. www.schooly.com. All right. Drink up with me. Come on, drink with me. We'll continue to talk about this in a second. Oh yeah, thanks, brother Kwame, for the suggestion of the um, baking soda. I'm gonna get on that right away. As a matter of fact, right after this, I'm gonna get that baking soda a try. This shit, this shit, this shit is miserable. You know, I'm I'm thinking about going back to the goddamn fast. This how that's how bad. That's how bad it is for me right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about going back to fasting. You know what I'm saying? Making that part of my lifestyle. Because I'm like, this food is not worth it. You know? <clears throat> but you know, it's almost like I can't even let a plate pass me no more. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I mean, that's that, that's part of it. Because one of the things we got to understand is like, dude, we exercise uh, a lot of uh, willpower. I exercise a lot of willpower. And according to some theories, you only have so much. So for 21 days, I I got rid of something I love to do. I love to eat. You know what I'm saying? I love to eat. It's 21 days. I've used up. I used up tons of willpower. Now that I'm done, I mean I can't let a play go by. You know what I'm saying? It's like I shoot. Somebody had okra. My, my partner had okra yesterday. I like nah, I ain't gonna eat the okra because the okra go on. And as I'm shaking my head, no, my hand going and putting the damn okra in my mouth. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, they got chips over here. Oh, I don't need the chips. What the hell? You got any rats dressing over there? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know. I'm pulling back together. I'm pulling it together, right? I'm gonna pull it together. But I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a real good time. But I'm just paying for it. See, we learn about consequences, right? When you play, you got to pay. Go and drink the water. Come on, fam. Mm. This 24 ounces right here. I try to do 32 ounces, family. You don't have to keep up with me as far as the ounces, all right? I try to do 32. Um, right now, what, what y'all see me taking right now, I did a show on this uh, two days ago. This is rhodiola. An adaptogen, right? Help with recovery. Help with dealing with stress. Not that I'm super stressed, but we're going to see. We're experimenting with it. With my system being a little bit cleaner than it was. This is the thirty two right here. Yeah, the body camp or not the body camp. Come on now. I know more people out there than Shaka got some ideas. Go fund me, venture capital. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might know somebody. Some of y'all might got some baller cousins. You know what I'm saying? That might be interested in doing something. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Put it up. Let's see. Let's see. Come on now. Do we need a camp? Do we need a camp? You know what I'm saying? Do we need a 
private place where black folks come together and have a meeting. Right? We could block the media out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody have to know but us. Some of us could sneak out and we could have our little our little conference meeting. We could sit down and eat eat like bosses. Like I did on my videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get back to that right after I get my stomach back together, right? Eat like bosses, you know, food that we grew. You know what I'm saying? The rule of eating like a boss. You got to have food that you either grew or produce. You know what I'm saying? We can sit down at the table and we can eat and we can talk. You know what I'm saying? Like bosses. We ain't got to worry about the media and stuff like that, except for the ones in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, come on, drink. Mm. Mm. All right, that's 32 ounces, plus took my rhodiola. All right, now, so I was like, got to go and do the health drink, right? Got to do the health drink, right? And I just thought about it. I said, man, I'm about to do the health drink, but thank God. I finished brewing. Mm-hmm. I got that ambrosia. <clears throat> got that ambrosia, family. Right? So, this batch is ready. Well, it ain't quite ready. I, I got to let it sit. But it's ready for me. Right? Now, um, so, um, what we're going to talk about today. We got several things we're going to talk about today on YouTube, right? On, on, on the lesson today, right? First off. We're going to talk about whole wheat. And then we're going to continue our conversation on the hill with a thousand faces. This ambrosia is, this is a kombucha, right, that I make, right? But it's made with green tea and honey. This is a probiotic. Um, this is, uh, this is a health drink. This is the love of my life. <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. I do love it, though. Right? And this, it, basically, it provides probiotics. Um, it provides all the benefits of green tea. It provides all the benefits of raw honey. And it also has the benefits of the fermentation process. Right? So, everything that was available to you through the green tea and the honey are made more bioavailable because they are broke down by yeast and bacteria, right? Healthy yeast and bacteria. So once it gets into your system, it helps energize you, helps get you, help you help you have clear thinking. It helps you. Uh, it helps make your body a little bit more regular. It feeds the gut bacteria or feeds your microbiome, which is over ninety percent of you anyway, right? And I ain't had that in a while because I just got done brewing it, right? So we're going to brew it. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do my health drink. So I'm going to toast using the ambrosia. Then I'm going to finish up my toast. I'm going to mix up some ambrosia with some fruit. Have me a little ambrosia smoothie. All right, so a fresh ambrosia smoothie. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Even before we break this one out. <sighs> Here go. Y'all see I'm getting my little belly back. So I got to start. Um, I'm still working out. But because, um, you know, I like I lost. I lost about. I lost over 20 pounds. Right. And they coming back quick. Right, but let's see. All right, this is that ambrosia too. I just wanted to finish this bottle up because you know when I'm brewing, I always have me a little side bottle. So this this one I used for my dough. So what I'm gonna be showing on the YouTube video is my um, sourdough bread because I, I use ambrosia. To make my sourdough, so I'm be sharing, sharing what my sourdough uh, recipe look like. 
because we're going to be making some bread tonight. All right. So let's get it. Now, those that are new to this, right? We salute our ancestors, right? So if you have any loved ones that have made their transition, right, that you would like to post up, by all means, put their names up. I will shout them out while I'm doing the libation, all right? Now, here we go. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call on this great universal force, this creative force that made everything that we know. Right, We call on this force and we ask for this force to bless and guide us and to touch our hearts so that we can be more humane to each other, so that we can be loving to each other, so that we can uplift each other in, uh, in times of need and, 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 and all of that. So we toast and we say, I say, from there, we move to our personal ancestors. We toast our loved ones. We toast our friends and our families that have passed on before us. We remember them. And, and, and uh, um, we thank them for the inspiration that they left us. We thank them for the marks on our lives that they left us. We thank them for um, giving us inspiration. We thank them for moving um, um, in our lives at times when we couldn't move ourselves. We lift them up and we give um, we give thanks for them being in our lives. Uh, I got a question real quick. Uh, Brother Bert says, Ambrosia, if you would, please inbox me the ingredients so I can make my own bottle. Yes, sir. Um, I'll get you after I get done, all right? You need a scoby, though, all right? So you need to holler at me, all right? So now, we, um, we lift up our ancestors, right? Remember those grandmothers and those grandfathers, those mothers and those fathers, those uncles and those aunts, those friends and those cousins. We lift them up, right? We remember them, right? We remember them by name because it's very important because at hell for an African is being forgotten. So we call, we call on. I'm going to call on my personal ancestors. If you have something you want me to call on, by all means, post them up. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Mina, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, um, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, um, Herman Brown, the second, um, Herman Brown, the second, Alvaro Brown, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, um, Sepet Ma Ra, No More X, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappet, Jeremiah, John Fillard, Montague Pitmanel. Yeah, I had a dream about this brother last night. Shouts out to my brother Montague Pitmanel. Um, Mark Walsh, Tony Clark, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Elder Millie. Um, who else? I'm missing quite a few. Pastor Yusuf Weston. Dr. Marianne Williams. I think I said Tony Clark already, but I'm sorry. Terrell Dunbar. Shouts out. Jamon Jones. Um, TC Islam. Um, Geronimo Jajaga Maya and the others. If not, we say Ashe. From there, we move to this present moment. Today is Nia. We toast Nia. Today is the day that we look for purpose. You know what I'm saying? We look for purpose every day. But today, we really focus on the aspect of purpose. I ain't got my cheat sheet. I'm going to get my cheat sheet together for y'all so that we can look at all the principles today. But we toast today, because today is where our power lies. Then also, we move to our future generation. We, we, we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity, right? We toast them, 
because we toast them now so that they will be able to toast us in the future because everything that we work on, everything that we build right now is for them, right? So whether we get the, this, this, this land or some other land, we know that we eventually gonna have to get some stuff for our kids so that we can pass it down to them. So we toast them and we say, I shake. From there we move from our children to you, right? I toast you for joining me whether you joining me in the early morning hours, like some of y'all right now, it's like quarter to five, right? I salute you, right? Those of you that join me later, I salute you. You know what I'm saying? I toast you. I lift my glass to you, right? And if you have any issues that you want to share, you know what I'm saying? Put on the timeline because I'm always, I'm always checking the timelines, and I salute you. And we could we could toast your we could toast your problems we could toast them away, right? With our healthy drink and our healthy lifestyles, you know what I'm saying? As my brother Dame Lee says, "Healthy is a new gangster," right? So we toast and we say, "Ashay, Ashay, Ashay." I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. All right. Thing can make that better. Actually, nothing. But we gonna make some fruit. Ooh. So, I'm about to make us that ambrosia smoothie. Oh, by the way, Bert, I'm sending you the, the recipe. One love, uh, brother Kwame. I'm gonna send you the recipe, right? But you can't make that ambrosia. You can make your own kombucha. You can make your own June. It's actually called a June. Um, you can't make that ambrosia, right? <clears throat> so let's see. see no strawberry. I seen a little strawberry and some blueberries. Let's see how it turns out. Right. So now, um, look up kombucha on um, on, on your on, on your uh, device. Right. You need what's called a scoby, which is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Now, I have I have I have scobies that I could get you, but you can also get them through Amazon. But you get one that's based on through. I make mine using green tea and honey because. Most kombuchas that you'll find in the store, because you can buy a kombucha in stores now. People, I mean, it's like, it's it's one of the most popular drinks right now. So you go to Kroger's or you go to any, almost any grocery store, main chain grocery store, and find kombucha in there. But you will not find, right now, you will not find the green tea and honey. I didn't want to use um, sugar and black tea. Why? Because in our communities, we have enough sugar. 
right? Just plain cane sugar. We got enough of that flowing through. So I found a recipe where I could use actual raw honey. Not, you know, not that honey you get in the store. Actual raw honey that if you let it sit long enough, it'll crystallize, right? It still has it still has the um the healthy properties. The, the healthy properties haven't been burnt out of it. It hasn't been processed. It's raw honey. And you got the um the, the, the mental properties that come with that green tea, right? And I wanted to bring something that will promote health within our community, right? Not that regular kombucha can do it, but I think um um something with a honey base will be a lot more beneficial to us, okay? So all right, so I'm just drinking up. All right, so be sure to join me because we gonna. I got some. I got some. Got some more shit from that Joseph Campbell, right? That here with a thousand faces, but we also gonna talk about the whole the whole wheat myth, right? The whole grains, right? Where you know people are trying to get us out of the grain piece, because you know one of the reasons I start making the bread using the um uh, the 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 ambrosia was because at one point in time bread was considered the staple of life now people talking about bread is killing us right and i'm just saying it's that processed that processed wheat that processed white wheat you know what i'm saying where they take it and they bleach it and they take certain parts of the wheat and throw the other parts out we need to look at whole grains it's not the whole grains that's killing us Right, it's it's not the whole grain. It's a portion of the grain. It's and it's the processing that's killing us. But we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. All right. So this is Brother Tim. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, Brother Bert says sugar is the world's worst addiction. I'm trying to steer away from that. The thing is, nobody know or even thinks about the add additives of just plain old sugar. Addictiveness. Yeah, man, it's very addictive. You know what I'm saying? Shit. In some in some studies they find it is more addictive than cocaine. Right? It's just it, the effect is just more drawn out. Right? It don't kill you. It don't take all your money right away. But you if you really look at the spending habits of people, you know what I'm saying? They do have to have their sugar. And then there's some of us that will get violent if we don't get our goddamn sugar. You know what I'm saying? And it's in everything. I mean, it's in the cigarette. I mean, think about this. It's in the cigarettes. It's in everything. Sugar cane blues. And so we got to really, really be mindful about our health. Salt and sugar is our first addiction. Very true. Very true. All right, gentlemen, I want to thank y'all for joining me. I'm about to get off and do my next show. So with that, y'all see I'm getting my weight back. I'll be back in my fighting weight real soon. You know, I ain't going to enter the ring, though, shit. Book by Lillian Hillman. What's the name of it? Sugar addiction. All right. Uh, hey, Bert. The ingredients is just listen, honey, raw honey, green tea. That's it. You need a scoby though. The scoby is the symbiotic culture, and it's like a little patty. And that's it. Oh, that's Queen of Four. Oh no! All right, I, I, Sugar Cane Blues is the book. Okay, all right. Peace, fam.